I look like a little primary school girl that's got her first day of kindergarten with this hair. I don't know if I like it, but because it shows my massive solar panel forehead. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. This week I am doing a first impression on a foundation and that foundation is the Rimmel London Lasting Finishing 25 Hour Nude Foundation. It's in the shade Light Porcelain Number no. 10 and it's a skin perfecting medium coverage foundation. I hope you guys like this video, if you do, don't forget it to be Give it a big thumbs up. I upload every Tuesday at 4.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, so yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're not. And let's get on with the video. Watch on me. Good watch me on me. I'm glad I came. Can you take my order? I just pulled this foundation up on the Priceline website. It says, Rimmel Lasting Finishing Nude Foundation SPF 20 30ml. It is $18.95 for this bottle. It only comes in five shades, so. And it doesn't look like it's got any colours for people with colour. Looks like just only really light, light complexions. And right now on Priceline, it has a sale three for two. Purchase any two products from the Rimmel Cosmetic range in one transaction and receive a third Rimmel Cosmetic product free. Go get you some. There's a medium coverage foundation that feels hydrating and moisturizing the lightweight formula blends instantly into the skin creating a nude poreless effect well, that'll be good if it does work um, it says sweat heat humidity and transfer proof up to 25 hours SPF 20 dermalogically I don't even know how to spell that word I'm just gonna put it here tested so let's get on with the first impression and review. I'm going to apply one side of my face primer and the other side no primer. The primer I'm using is the Stila One Step Correct Skin Toning, Correcting and Brightening Serum. And I got this the other day. I like it so far. So I'm just going to pop out a little bit. Do the right side of my face with primer. Skin is by no means perfect like right now I have well you can't really see him but I have a couple of pimples up here and along my hairline I have some dark circles I have like a pimple there a pimple there and then obviously I did have redness there and I've got some redness on that cheek I'm gonna continue adding the primer to my really big forehead. Now I've applied primer. Let's start this. If I could open it, it'd be great. <laughs> uh, why can't this tape loosen? Now when you take the lid off. Oh, oh yes! It has a pump. I'm so happy about that. So I'm just going to pump this onto the back of my hands it's kind of a runny foundation I'm going to use the Real Techniques um, sculpting brush and I'm just going to apply it to the unprimed side first and I can already tell I got a shade that is way too pink Actually, it doesn't have that bad of a smell either. One pump, I've only just been able to do that side of my nose and all of that and a little bit down my neck here. But that is it, so let's keep going. It looks so much worse on camera than what it does in real life, but that 
is one layer on this side. So let's get onto this side. really tell that much of a difference. I think a lot more product was needed on the unprimed side. And I'm just gonna add parts, more foundation to the parts where I think I need more coverage. After that, I reckon you could build this foundation up, but I'm not going to because I don't really want to, but I did get a shade that's too light for me, which is a first because normally I'm the lightest shade in every foundation brand. And I don't really think this is medium coverage, but I think you could build it up to a full coverage that you like. But I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup and then we'll come back. So I just finished doing my makeup that I'm going to wear. Simple. Oh my god, this lighting is stunning. Sorry, I use natural lighting. I'm going to change the lighting. Hold on. Anyway, that's a bit better lighting. So it's 523 and I have a lot of notifications while I was gone, but it's 5.23 so I'll probably check in in about 5-6 hours before, so 11, 10 or 11 o'clock at night, um, just because that's my normal day of wearing makeup, whether it be at school. Sometimes I do go longer, but I always touch up after like 5 hours, so I will just do whatever I'm going to do and I'll see you guys in 5 hours. Okay, so right now. Like a rock, I, I, I.